What's up guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a video on how to do an oil change, but more specifically on the 4.7 liter V8 fourth gen 4Runner. And in my case, this is the Sport Edition. You will need a few things. You'll need an oil filter, a 14 millimeter socket wrench, your oil, and of course a gasket for your oil pan bolt. First thing you'll need to do is to crack open that hood to get to the area you need to get to to get this oil change started. And the first thing I like to do is kind of glance around the engine Make sure there's not a ton of debris in there and there isn't any unwanted fluid all over the place. Uh, that's what she said. Um, and the battery terminals are great, no rust. And right there, that's the oil dipstick. And if you're facing the engine head on, the dipstick is gonna be to the left. That is the passenger side. And here I have my oil pan catch. I'm just getting it lined up just right. Now I'm opening up my oil cap. If you read it closely, it says 5W30, which is the oil that I picked out already. It's there just in case you're at the shop and you forget what oil you're supposed to get. So this is the first time I've ever owned a car where I did needed to jack it up or drive it up onto ramps in order to get underneath. That's the nice thing about having a 4Runner. Here I'm just locating the bolt in the oil pan to drain out the oil. So after a few cranks, the bolt comes out, the oil is draining, and as you can see there, I pulled out the gasket as well. That's the old gasket. Uh, when you go and buy your oil filter, you make sure you they give you a brand new gasket for your bolt there, as you can see. And it just simply slips over like so. And what that does is it keeps the oil inside the oil pan so you don't get any sort of oil leaks. And that's what the factory Toyota filter is for the V8 4Runner. Comes with a little plastic covering, which can be easily removed and discarded. So what I'm doing here is with my new oil, I put some oil in the lid, got it on my finger, and basically ran it along the ring of my brand new oil filter. What this will do is it'll keep the oil uh, from seeping out of the oil filter and it gives it a better seal when you tighten it up by hand. And you really don't want it overly tightened so a hand tighten should do the trick. Now getting the old oil filter off in the past, I would just twist this thing off right away and it just, oil would just get everywhere, come spilling out. So what I do now is I just crack it open, just enough for oil to start seeping out, and I let it drain for as much as possible until it slows to a trickle. And then when it does, that's when I remove it completely. But beware, there's still a lot of oil there in that old oil filter. So just be careful which direction it drops. Make sure you aim it into your oil pan, which I did. So. I put on the funnel just so that my pouring of the oil gets into where it's supposed to and does not spill everywhere and 
you just let it go. I'm putting in 6.5 quarts of Mobile One full synthetic oil. I'm showing off for the camera a bit right here, but be careful. You can easily spill and get oil all over your engine. It won't really do any damage, but you just gotta clean it up. Otherwise, it gets really messy. All right, now that the new oil filter is on and the oil cap is twisted back on, I'm now turning on the engine to let the new oil circulate for a couple minutes. Then I kill the engine and then I want to check with my dipstick to see if I got the right level of oil in there. So here I am going for the dipstick. We got some of the leftover old oil. I'm just going to clean that off with a shop towel and then do another dip to see where my oil levels are. And if it is where it's supposed to be, it's between those two dots on the dipstick there, which it was for me. But do consult your manual before doing your own oil change. Now that I'm done, I want to do one final inspection underneath the car to see if there are any drips of oil. That lets me know that there's a leak somewhere um, and usually that's around the bolt. Uh, that could mean I didn't tighten it down correctly or my oil filter wasn't tightened tight enough. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment.